Hi Gemini, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your March 2021 Is It in the Cards Love Tarot Reading. This is for all Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And if you are new to the channel, this is a specific love reading, but I do general readings every Friday. And then usually I'll post another reading on Monday. So in this case, it's a love reading. But if you're looking for general readings, there are plenty of those on the channel that you could find and watch. And I want to thank everyone who's subscribed and everything you do for the channel. If you're new and you have not subscribed, I'd love to invite you to join us and become a subscriber. Then you'll know when I post anything new too. So Let's begin and get the advice for Gemini in love. What does Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus need to know about love, please? All right. Here we go. So we will draw three cards for you, three cards that represent the person you are attracting, and three cards for the advice on the relationship. So you have here the lovers. I like to see that for you. This is you, the Six of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. They're represented by Justice, the Eight of Wands, and the World. Your advice here is the Nine of Cups, the Eight of Swords, and the King of Swords. So it might be a Libra you're attracting because they have Libra here. So you have Gemini, you've got Libra, you have Water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You've got Air in general, Gen Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You've got Fire and Earth too. Um, so you have all the elements. Um, boy, are you in a wonderful energy field. My gosh, who doesn't love this? So you have the lovers here, which everyone likes to see in a love reading. Um, you know, can represent a choice, but it also represents a relationship that really changes how you see the world. It is a, a very important relationship in your life is coming to you. And it's got it's um, guided here, the card with Archangel Raphael. Okay, so, you know, it's, it's a card that depicts really an eternal love and um, a match. And so it's an energy field that you are putting out there. You're vibrating at this level of love and there's no higher level than that. So with that, the Six of Wands shows up and that tells you you're getting a lot of attention. It's also a card of success. Um, it's got this wreath of success that hangs off of the wand. And so it's telling you that what you're doing is pu it's pulling you in the right direction, okay? You're going to have somebody who, or maybe you already do, who has noticed you, who's very interested in you, they're very attracted to you. And I feel like if they haven't made a move, they're going to. So the Page of Pentacles um, is a card of an offer. And so it's in the developing phase stages, though. So you may be on the receiving end of a text or a message or even somebody who asks about you. They might ask kind of because the Page of Pentacles is it's a more mature energy for a page, but it may still, again, be an indicator that it's in that developing stage. So if you get that kind of buzzing, ringing in your ear. Maybe somebody was talking about you and asking your friend or messaging somebody about you, wondering about you. Um, but I definitely think that there's a strong indicator here that you're admired. You've definitely got an admirer out there. And they see you as a, they, you know, the way that the page holds up that pentacle is like the way that they think of you. They see you as, I hate to say prize because that doesn't that sound so egotistical? I don't mean it like that, but they see you as somebody who is has a lot of lot going for you. They see a lot of positives in you. They're attracted to you, but they also, like I said, see more than just that physical. They see so many of your talents, your gifts. Um, you know, I just feel like they're very, they're going to be very enamored with you. So this is their energy, and boy, is this great! Talk about self mastery. This person knows who they are. And so, like I said, they may be in the beginning stages, but I also feel like they don't, they're not impulsive and it may be a Libra that you're attracting. Um, and it may be somebody who is in law or works in law enforcement and they're more in that analytical profession. So they kind of analyze, they don't run around and date, they're not all over Bumble and Tinder trying to find coffee dates three times a day. 
they are they know who they are and they know how to attract people whether they are doing it through the law of attraction or not they're doing it you know what i mean unless they may not be consciously you know talking about the law of attraction but i feel like they know how to attract they know how when they feel good they're in the gym i do see this person working out um and really working on themselves very much conscious of them you know how how they take care of their mind body spirit very very stable energy here though um so the eight of wands those are the arrows of love in the tarot so again they may be the one that makes the first move here it's communication coming forward um but it's also too somebody that wants to move forward in a relationship they're not here to play games and they they want a relationship they're not going to reach out to you and then ghost you or breadcrumb you that's not who this is they don't they don't do that kind of stuff and the world indicates um somebody who has self-mastery somebody again who's very developed spiritually they're very developed intellectually and also too in terms of the stability in their life um they the world also is a card of travel it's nirvana right it's like perfection so it really is someone who you will want as well so there, there's reciprocity here so as much as they admire you you're going to feel it towards them too and so with the world it feels like being on top of the world it's this unlimited joyful expansive feeling and it's a relationship that expands and grows and so if there's some kind of obstacle which i do see with that eight of swords um i do feel like you'll overcome it with them i feel like they are again very positive thinker even though they're analytical i don't feel like they're an overthinker i feel like they are able to find solutions easily to problems and that's what you do in the world it's a new cycle though um it does feel like a new love interest and somebody who wants to move forward with you and wants to have fun enjoying the journey so even though like i said they're analytical i don't feel like it's in a negative way like somebody who's super anxious and just thinking because the world is the dancer of the tarot okay she's dancing in that wreath of victory and both of you i like to see this both of you have the wreath of victory so again i feel like it is a match like as you meet up you really feel like you've been wanting this person you've been looking for this person so interesting you've got the nine of cups which is wish fulfillment and it's you having your heart's desires fulfilled it's all those cups of love being fulfilled it's a card of reciprocity though so again i feel like there are both of you think of each other you both hold each other in high esteem there's a mutual attraction here but it's also about doing little things for one another wanting to help each other out there's no competition with this relationship it's not one of those where it's like this competitive thing so the eight of swords this restricted energy this can be that self-imposed prison and it's in the advice and so what i think with this as i see it here is really about moving forward without overthinking that's the guidance because i mentioned they're pretty analytical and so we don't want to get too much into that energy field because then we can get stopped and stuck and so the king of swords comes in and brings wisdom brings clarity and brings authority and so what i like about that with the eight of swords is the king of swords knows exactly what to do and so it may be it may be some if you have some obstacle here if there's if there's a distance here or there's some kind of an age dilemma or something like that or it's it's some kind of a barrier like um even if you kind of hate to say this but you're getting out of a relationship that eight of swords is the getting out of it and the king of swords helps just to make it a clean break okay it's kind of the getaway card or car excuse me it is a card too but um either way i you know i know it's real life and sometimes people have that and they meet somebody and they leave whatever they're in because it's just not the right thing and the other the other relationship has such a strong pull and attraction it's undeniable so i definitely feel like there's love here i really do like the energy of the person that you're attracting but your energy is also quite nice gemini so they're lucky too you're a fortunate couple um so let's see what the angels have to say here for gemini please all right and a timeline here for gemini and 
and a yes, no, maybe. All right, you've got let go. So I feel like that's about that eight of swords. If there's something in some way that you feel guilty about or shame about, because the eight of swords does indicate shame on some level, or if it's something about, like I said, there's some dynamic, some social construct, some social hang up. They're telling you to let go of it because it doesn't really matter. And it's your life anyway. So you are, you know, what you're seeking is also seeking you. So they do say ask for help from others. So if there's some area like you are feeling like you're just not meeting people, it may be time to put it out there a little bit more that you're interested in it and allow people to, to find, you know, help you fix you up and things like that. So um, you've got peaceful resolution. So whatever that eight of swords is, not only are you letting go of it, but you're able to let go of it for good and move out of that field because boy, is your energy beautiful. It's There's no restriction in terms of the cards that represent you. And you're also in your own energy with the lovers. I mean, that's it's really a powerful indicator um, to show up here. So you have here in the near future. So you're definitely in a field of momentum and moving forward in a beautiful way. And they give you a yes. And so there's something here for you. There's definitely love here for you. And again, if you have some kind of uh, something that you feel like is holding you back a little bit, there's lots of stuff on the internet, like the Sedona method is really good for learning how to let go or NLP or something like that, that can just help you to let go of that energy so you can really enjoy this because it's a beautiful relationship here. So I love you, Gemini, and I'll be back again soon.